What's up guys, Tim back with a new video. Today I'm just gonna be doing a question and answer. I had people ask me questions on my Instagram, which will be right here. And we're just gonna go straight into it. All right, the first question is from Lizzie, my sister, shout out to you girl. Where is your dream place to travel to? I would say Yellowstone National Park. I've always wanted to go there. It seems pretty cool. If Elon gave you a blank check, what product would you create? I have too many that I would create and I can't really share that with you. You're going to steal my idea and then take it off because you're a baller. My boy Josh asks, what's your intention to keep striving to get better? Slow growth. Constantly just doing the little things right every single day because I know they'll compound to get me to the big thing that I'm going after and it'll help me just build really good habits as my foundation. So if I'm ever falling off, I always have those habits that just keep me going up and where I need to be. <laughs> Andreas asked, what's your favorite music? I would say anything by Drake or Lil Baby. My go-tos. Dariana asked, is water wet? Yes, water is wet. That's not an argument either. If someone says water is not wet, they're just uneducated. Sorry if you think water is not wet, but it's wet. Lorena asks, what are your tips for someone starting on their fitness journey? Start slow and don't just go to the gym and try to work out every part of your body as hard as you can. Or don't go like three days in a row doing super intense workouts. Just start small. You know, one push up is better than no push ups. Uh, one set of curls is better than doing nothing. So just start little, start small. Maybe just go do a little light half mile run if you wanna do cardio. Don't go do three miles straight out the door when you haven't ran in a year. Just start small and then build it up and be consistent. Kimberly had two questions. The first one is what keeps me motivated? The biggest things that keep me motivated is a family, of course. I've always wanted to just support my family. And then the second one is just, I'm afraid of not reaching my own potential. And so many people believe in me and have high hopes for me. And I, I'm just scared I'm gonna let those people down. So that just keeps me going because no matter what, I'm not gonna let anyone down. You believe in astrology. You know, I've never really got into it, honestly. But I mean, if you wanna fill me in on it, go ahead. How much money do you have saved? Not enough. But typically I save around 15 to 25% of everything I make. Even if it's $10, I'll put $1.50 up just because it's that discipline of no matter how much it is or what it is, I'm always going to save first. But I'm looking to move that up from like the 15 to 25% to about 35% in the next couple months. How can I be more like you? Just read The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. I mean... Deshaun, you're a, a great guy. I don't think you need to be like me. You're probably cooler than me. Um, <laughs> Annie asks, would you rather have your butthole on your forehead or Cheeto fingers forever? I would say my butthole on my forehead because I'd be famous, honestly. Like, there's not people just walking around with the butthole on their forehead. And if anything, I could just wear a beanie or something and cover it up. Whereas if I had Cheeto fingers, that'd be just annoying. Like everything I touched would have Cheetos on it. Everything would taste like Cheetos. It just wouldn't be good. Hardest lesson you've learned in life? Mm. Patience. I mean, I know that's not a lesson, but it's something that everyone needs. And it's something I definitely needed because I felt like at times I get very impatient, especially when it comes to like, I guess going towards my goals. Like I always feel like I'm not going fast enough, but I know that the slow growth and the steady steps I take every day to better myself will get me to where I need to be. Oh, and also don't, don't invest in GameStop. <laughs> Rod asks, how cute is Brennan? Here, I'm gonna put a picture like right here somewhere. Brennan's smoking hot. What businesses, 
What businesses are you running right now? So I was running a business called QR, QR Solutions, where I made QR codes for real estate signs. And I'll post a picture somewhere right here too. So like, for example, I really like to look at real estate. I love just driving by homes. And I'd always want to see the interior of the home or see like what they're asking for for that home. But there's no way unless you Google the address, which you have to go find the address or you have to like call the person to get more information. Whereas when you put the QR code up, they just someone can just drive by, scan it and they get all the information. But I kind of put that to the side right now. Jordan asks, what has been your favorite purchase investment in these past five years? Mm. We're talking investment. I would say the best investment I've made this past five years is into myself. I know that's probably not what you were looking for, bro, but I think just constantly building myself and, you know, like, for example, buying books, I would say books are a good investment because they made me who I am today. And just that constantly just like learning new things and trying to be a better person has been the best investment for me. Also Apple. And then I guess my favorite purchase would be my car. I, I love that thing. <laughs> he also asked, how was, it, how was it growing up with 12 sisters? So I don't have 12 sisters. I lived at home with five sisters. And I also have four more sisters, one in Alabama, and my brother lives in Alabama. And then I have three in Arkansas. But I guess growing up with my five sisters, it was cool. I mean, we always fought a lot. Because fun fact, we all shared a room at one point. And I mean, it was just constant battles. But, you know, as we got older, we just got, I guess, more friendly with each other. And he asked, what were the top three names you were between for Kobe Bean? Kobe Bean is my dog. Kobe Bean Willett, named after Kobe Bean Bright. He's asleep right now and I don't want to wake him up because he might get too rowdy. But... There wasn't any other names. I know it was gonna be either Kobe or I had a stuffed animal when I was little. It was a little dog named Champ. So I was thinking to name him Champ because he kind of looks like him as a puppy. And I thought about Nike, but I didn't want to do that. Kenneth asked, Cardi or Uzi? Drake. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I definitely pick pizza because I could just have different kinds of pizzas every day and I never get tired of pizza. Kenneth asks, what makes Tim, Tim? I would say my discipline and my drive make me who I am. How do you feel about personal development? I mean, I'm always striving to just better myself. So I, I'm a big personal advocate for constantly just developing yourself and doing it every single day. So I, I feel very highly, I guess, about personal development. Thomas asks, favorite shoes? Let's see, let me go get them. These are my favorite shoes. These are the Sakai's. I forgot like the exact name of them, but they're the gray and white ones. They're super beat up right now. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but they're so dirty. Cause I wear them literally almost every single day. I just love how they look. They're really cool, they're sleek. The colors go with everything. And if you had to bet someone on what shoe I'm wearing, it'd probably be this one. My boy J Mike asks, how should I look into building a PC beginner guide? I would say go watch my video. I showed all the parts you really need uh, and just watch YouTube videos, how to build a PC. You can go on pcpartspicker.com and it'll have it where you can Pick what parts you want based off your budget and what you're trying to build. And there's also a lot of examples on there as well of other people's builds. It really just depends. If you want a, I guess, a starter PC, uh, you should just focus on the main things like a graphics card, your CPU, and your, your memory and RAM. But it's not too hard to build it, honestly. I mean, I had help. And if you ever need help, bro, just let me know and I can help you out. Holly, my boy. If you could choose one new skill to learn instantly, what would it be? Uh, I would say Spanish. Like, I think it'd be really cool to speak a different language other than the one I already speak. Other than that, 
I think it'd be cool to, I guess, learn how to play poker professionally, like really good at it. So I could just go to Vegas and win money all day. Lastly, Anna Blore asked, you know, a wise man once said nothing at all. It's all I really got for y'all today. If y'all have any more questions or anything you're curious about, just drop a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram and just DM me the question. I'll try to get back as soon as possible. But I'm going to start coming out with a little bit more videos. I was originally started this channel because I had to do it for class. We had to post six times in a row or six weeks in a row. But I kind of enjoy it and it gives me something to do. So I'm just going to keep going. I might miss a week or so every now and then, but I'm going to try to stay consistent for every single week. And if y'all have any suggestions on videos you want to see or things you want me to talk about, just let me know. Y'all have a good one. Peace.